This is money from American taxpayers. Normal, regular people, uh, farmers, teachers, retired people like my 90-year-old mother, she pays taxes, and approximately 1% of the U.S. budget goes for foreign assistance and foreign operations, between 1 and 1.5%. It's not a lot, but it's a significant amount of money. And for American taxpayers to be persuaded that we should continue to spend our money helping nations overseas become successful, they have to believe that we are managing that money like we would manage my, I'd manage my own bank account. And, and so it's very important that we do that and that we communicate uh, that. But also, I think the Moldovan people need to feel that we are trying to do the utmost that we can to make their lives better. That we're going to spend that money in a way that gets results. And if we have a project that doesn't get results, then I end it. But one other thing I want to say, and that is that this next fiscal year, um, assuming the budget goes as we anticipate it will, and we're not the decision makers, Congress is, we expect to give about $45 million in grant money to development in Moldova, the U.S. government as a whole. About two-thirds of that USAID manages. And that's a significant amount. For Moldova, yes. But my goal going forward is to make sure that as much of that money as possible is spent on projects outside the capital city, projects that affect everyday people in their villages. 